What war crimes do the good guys in movies commit against the evil faction? Remember that time the Powerpuff Girls beat up Mojo Jojo while he was in jail doing absolutely nothing? In Stargate Atlantis, the goodies capture a wraith and perform medical experiments on him. Perfidy. Essentially surrendering, only to whip around and start killing your captor. It's seen a lot in Star Wars The Clone Wars. A recent example I can think of is in asterisk w-i-t-h-o-u-t-r-e-m-o-r-s-e asterisk, where you are supposed to believe Michael B. Jordan is making a heroic one-man stand during a black ops mission in Russia, until you realize that the Russian police and soldiers are responding to what appears to be a terrorist incident, rather than the movie's villain blowing himself up and have no clue who is shooting at them. James Bond commits multiple acts of torture and frequently threatens unarmed people with assault or even death. This is played almost as a satire in the later movies, where he is portrayed unambiguously as a complete sociopath. In Star Wars The Clone Wars, all of them. In the Star Trek Discovery pilot they booby trap dead bodies which is a war crime. Yes maybe in the future the Geneva Convention has been updated, they actually nama check it's still existing in 1x03, but you'd expect it to change for the better, not give the okay for the same tactics ISIS use. They also try to genocide a whole planet, but compromise to overthrowing the legitimate ruling government. Isn't Ender's game about tricking a child into committing genocide? Torture is typically a default. Protagonist doesn't have time to play by the rules, so he tortures info out of the person. Hollywood loves to show that torture is the only way to get info out of someone when it's actually not only a war crime, but the least reliable method. Fake surrendering and harming someone after they have surrendered. In the last Hunger Games, didn't the good guys drop medical supplies, only just for half of them to be bombs, to make the bad guys look bad? Inglorious bastards, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to scalp people. In community, Pierce Hawthorne fakes a heart attack to shoot one of City College's stormtroopers, then disguises himself in the guy's body army and shoots the remaining stormtroopers to win a paintball tournament for Greendale. Whenever someone fakes a surrender, edit, it's disturbing how many people don't know that you can't fake a surrender. Edit 2, thanks for the awards and the karma. Give me all the internet points. A lot of good guys flirt with, or outright commit, torture in interrogation sessions. Reminder, it's considered bad to physically assault someone when they can't fight back, no matter what the circumstances. And in the real world, it usually doesn't work. That scene in Saving Private Ryan where they shoot the unarmed check conscripts. Literally a war crime. In Ace Combat Zero you get points for destroying refugee tents. I'm cracking up over the fact that half this thread is Star Wars based. Not a movie, but Anakin Skywalker in TCW is notorious for falsely surrendering to the separatists. He did this in season 7 episode 9 to lure the tactical droid out of hiding on a battlefront before the siege of Mandalore. I read through a lot of these, and the one I didn't see come up is Mock Execution. It's a hugely popular plot device, to point a gun at someone's head and pull the trigger when the chamber was empty, or to push someone off a roof onto a waiting platform slash pad, or whatever. But convincing someone that they or another is going to be killed imminently is a form of torture, and is thus a war crime. Now that you know this, you will see it asterisk e-v-e-r-y-w-h-e-r-e -E -E asterisk. False surrender. Ridiculously common in Star Wars, WW2 films, and middle schools. In Saving Private Ryan, when some Germans get killed after surrendering after D-Day landing. I'm pretty sure they weren't even German. They were forcefully conscripted from other countries. Inglorious bastards. Beating surrendered combatants with a baseball bat is most likely a war crime. In Saving Private Ryan, allied soldiers kill Axis soldiers who have their hands up after landing on Normandy. Anakin's list is a little intense lol. Where they dress up as soldiers of the evil empire and proceed to kill enemy soldiers who think think that they are on their side. Looking at you Star Wars. 
Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes. Murdering surrendering soldiers. Saving Private Ryan. Executing POW. Band of Brothers. Faking a surrender. Star Wars Clone Wars. Killing an unarmed combatant. Star Wars Clone Wars. Rex killing the slaver. Not sure if this counts. Hiding within civilian population. Red Dawn. I know there is more point I can't think of them ATM. This regards cop movies more, but I've recently rewatching some absolute bangers from the 1980s, including Lethal Weapon, Tango, and Cash and Action Jackson, and it's hilarious how insane and borderline sadistic the cops are. Have you ever considered what a psycho John McClane is? To kill some dude, put a Christmas elf hat on him, and right now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho on his shirt and die hard? It's such a funny 80s trope that cops were supposed to be these rule-breaking fanatics. It's not a movie, but XCOM in XCOM to commit some serious war crimes. Collateral damage in spades inside of enemy cities, grenades, and rockets go astray and kill civilians. Acid, poison, and incendiaries are all utilized because fuck the AIs, and the Reaper faction literally eats salients. Plus you can go some dark directions in the lore if you want. This is all excused as backquote aliens never signed the Geneva Convention. Superheroes who destroy half the town before the villain even does anything. Everything Jack Boy did. That whole series is just a middle finger to the Geneva Convention. The clone army that the GD lead was unambiguously child soldiers. Every time they kill a minion. Nobody cares when the ninja army gets slaughtered, but the moment the big bad steps into the room, suddenly they all have a conscience. Inglorious bastards may have bent a few subsections. Killing or finishing off injured enemies. Mostly anything the bad faction does that makes our bloods boil. It's somehow okay for the heroes to torture them, kidnap their relatives etc. It's only wrong when the bad guys do. The human brain is funny. This is a huge theme of the Animorphs series, the main characters contemplate and even go through with genocide on several occasions, as well as being literal child soldiers and this isn't even going into the Andalites who, while supposedly being on the good team admit to using a virus to wipe out an entire planet to stop the Veloins from getting its resources. I don't care if they've got magical superpowers, a lot of good guys are using child soldiers. Spider-Man's 15 in Homecoming. Attack on Titan has them all training at the same age and they're fighting monsters well before they're 18. Obviously not a movie, but I would like to bring up Halo. Spartans are biologically and psychologically enhanced child soldiers that were made to squash rebellions. It's only by chance that they were invaded by the Covenant and began fighting them instead. And for those who aren't aware basically they were kidnapped as children and replaced by clones that would die soon after due to complications that came with the cloning process, as was the plan. Every scene with a flamethrower 